After exams, you can start to think about what you're going to do in the workshop. We've got a practical lined up for you. You're going to make a little picture frame on a stand. First of all, safety. Remember, you can't go in the workshop unless your teacher allows you in. And when you go in, it's a good idea to wash your hands. Wear an apron, you can bring your own if you like, and safety glasses, but we do have plenty of them. No loose clothing, hair tied back, no scarves allowed. Remember, one person in the yellow box. In the workshop, get your apron on and pick a workstation with people you usually work with. You're going to need a piece of acrylic, but it's a good idea to make a little card model first from an A4 piece of paper folded in three. Then you're going to need to measure 50, and from the opposite end, 100. I think I do 110 here, but it is 100 on your piece of acrylic, which is slightly shorter. Now, fold the hundreds over, and then fold the 50. And there should be a little gap of about 15 or 20. And that's what your little picture frame is going to look like. So now you know what you're doing. Get your acrylic and do check it is the right size and also check for squareness by holding it up to the light and marking a line on the end if it needs a little bit sanded off then flip the tri square over keeping the stock against the same edge as you were using a second ago and slide it over the other end and repeat the process this means you've got two square ends and you can tidy the ends up on the linisher you will need to recall all the safety advice when using a linisher wear your glasses and keep your acrylic flat against the table at all times switch it on you might need to turn the emergency stop off and then switch it on gently sand it down to the line and when you get to the line just flip it round and do the same on the other end make sure you tilt it slightly because you will take more off one end than the other and don't go over your line there's line left behind right time to mark it out oh do check you have a piece of clear acrylic so take a bit of plastic off the corner and then you can start marking out so it was 100 and then at the other end it was 50. So mark your broken line, 100 first, and then do the 50 from the other end. After that, you can mark out the thumb print, which is where you can put your thumb in to get the pictures in and out. I'm drawing around a little here, but maybe draw around a 2P, that might be better. Pop in your vise. You might need to adjust the pins on the coping saw, make sure they point the same way. You need to loosen the handle, tighten the handle to adjust them. And when you're using the coping saw, make sure you keep it level. In front of you, not right or left like that. And don't move it up or down like that either. Just keep it nice and straight and level in front of you and off you go cutting your curve. After that, you can give it a quick file to tidy it up before cleaning off the edges with a range of sandpaper, starting with the roughest and then the smoothest and then the polishing machine. Remember to keep it at about four o'clock or the underbelly when you're putting the polish on. And when you're buffing it, use the cleaner, wider, fluffier uh, wheel. You might at some stage need to put some polished compound on once or twice during the lesson. Next up is bending the acrylic using a strip heater or a line bender. And here, pop it in, make sure your line is properly lined up and square. That's very important. After that, you need to remove the uh, plastic coat. You probably should have done that before heat it up. And then you can pop it in the vise and do the bend, keeping the edges flush. Then bend the other end, just mm -hmm. using the bench to get the angle right. Should look a bit like that. Good. And that's it, you're done. Tidy up, make sure you put all your tools back, tidy up everybody's area as well, and leave it like that. Thank you.